sheet. What's up everybody? It is April 30th, 2017. I wanted to do a video because I hadn't done one in so long. I guess it's been about two years. The video that had gotten the most attention, I think it's like 7,000 views, was back in five years ago, 2012. I was talking about Cipro and I still today I'm seeing uh, I just saw one about a firefighter that took Cipro and now, you know, obviously he can't do his job. Um, and the doctors made him keep taking the Cipro. Um, I mean, it's the same story over and over again uh, until they, until they, you know, until there's enough stories out there where the drug company has got a bad enough name about it that, you know, the, the, the profit doesn't outweigh the the crippling that it's causing. It's just going to keep happening over and over. But I just want to get an update on myself and uh, um, sort of a retrospect. Uh, in case anybody doesn't know, in September of 2011, I was on Cipro for constipation, what it turned out to be. So figure um, but it's the same story said everywhere it's just prescribed for whatever they can they can pawn off to prescribe it but anyways um, the way it affected me like there's a lot of people that are affected really badly in the in the tendons and the connective tissue you know it, it just penetrates different people um, more uh, deeper uh, into the tissues so it really depends on I guess it's just how you know I can't say exactly what it is it's, it seems to be uh, just how kinda how well your body is at delivering you know detoxifying the pill and at the same time delivering you know blood into your tissues uh, but anyways, um, for me, it didn't have as bad of a connective tissue effect. The weird effect that happened with me was it collected inside my colon. And uh, along with the flagell, and it, because I was constipated, it collected in a lower left, in my bottom of my descending colon. And um, I was in severe pain. Uh, nearly, probably nearly uh, burst my colon. Um, so for me, it it caused this weird symptom of, and it's pretty permanent, you know, I've had it ever since I was on the Cipro, uh, of a spasm in my pelvic floor, like a twitch, uh, a muscle twitch in my pelvic floor so somehow the damage that it did in my colon um, sort of activated I, I can't really say what it did but it activated a permanent twitch um, in my pelvic floor which are muscles that you don't really con it's a muscle that I don't control um, so that's how it screwed me up and uh, but it's not to say that I don't have tendon connective tissue problems and it did get me, but it didn't get me so bad that I couldn't like walk like some people or I couldn't like type without being in pain. One second. Just gotta sniff this, sniff this steam. Get you some of this. Hmm? Eucalyptus. Drop of this and some steam. Breathe that in. So, um,
So yeah, it affected me very bad mentally for about a year. I was, uh, I literally, uh, I, w I was thinking about suicide every day for a year, you know, because it had penetrated into my brain. But, uh, I just wanted to give an update on myself. Um, I've been here in Nashville for almost five years, and, uh, I am finally able to work again, so... I guess that's good. Um, so I've been working for about almost two months now. And, uh, yeah, I'm able to play pickleball, which is nice. I'm able to do physical things, which I'm thankful for because a lot of people after Cipro, man, they can't do the, the, even do physical things without being in pain. So I'm thankful for that. Um, the thing about my condition is I also have Lyme disease and I. You know, I had Lyme disease at the same time they gave me Cipro. So there's a lot of, like, overlap in what did what or a combination, you know, tag teaming on my body. Was, was this the Lyme or was this the Cipro? Um, the only thing I can say for sure that the Cipro did cause the crazy spasm. And I'm sure it has contributed to some connective, and connective tissue damage and... Um, collagen destruction um, but the Lyme can do a lot of things that a lot of bad things too so um, it's hard to say I know I still have Lyme and and due to my own lack of discipline I have not been able to sufficiently keep the Lyme down to where I feel like I'm almost back to not having Lyme um, that's my own fault. I take responsibility for that. Uh, I think there is a way that I could get rid of it, but I just don't have the discipline to... I'm too addicted to food, you know, psychologically, emotionally, and physically, chemically. I'm just too addicted to it to seem to be able to go through the regimen, which I think would get rid of the Lyme. Um, so that's where I'm at, you know. Nothing's really changed. Still living here in Nashville, still pretty much a hermit. And uh, I did get a dog about a year ago, so she helps me out uh, a lot. You know, I've grown attached to her, and it'd be hard to. It hard. It's now. It's hard thinking about life without her. And um, that's pretty much my life now. It's just uh, my dog uh, going to work and. Uh, That's about it. So. I don't know what to say. Hopefully, uh, I can get rid of Lyme just through exercise. And, because it certainly doesn't seem to be happening, going to be happening through diet. Um, as far as the Cipro, uh, the spasm that I have, it, it's not painful. And I hope it doesn't grow to be painful because... I don't know if I can handle it if it starts to get painful because it's still with me. Um, if I get enough money saved up, maybe I can go to a, uh, a public floor expert and maybe they can figure out a way to stop it, stop the spasm. And that may help with my gut processing. I know uh, they seem to be related, uh, the relaxation of your pelvic floor mu muscles probably would help uh, things travel through your colon. And, um, I'm not sure what to say. I've just been trying to live with it. And uh, I'm sorry for all of you out there that are still suffering. And you know, uh, everything I've said in all these other videos as far as the drug companies, that still holds true. You know, I still feel like they're criminals. And uh, they're still getting away with it. So. Not sure what to do. Except live my little life. 
and uh, try to make people aware of it. All right. Take care, everybody.